Right, okay, so we have so far done basic trigonometric equations and we've done trigonometric equations with compound angles and now we are going to do um, trigonometric equations that include quadratics. So the first type, again there's like the compound angles, there's two different types of these um, and the first one is the more simple one which is for example we have 3 tan squared x equals 1 and we want to solve it between 0 and 360 degrees. Okay so the steps are to get the trig function on its own. Okay, so same, very similar to the other ones. These questions are quite formulaic. It's all about kind of breaking it down into the steps of what we can do. So we are going to get tan squared x is equal to 1 over 3. Okay, so here, this is where something comes in which is the plus or minus. So we know that when just doing this over the side, um, 2 squared is equal to 4, but then we also know that minus 2 squared is equal to 4. This is the same for anything, so if we pick any number, 3 squared is equal to 9. The negative of that squared also gives us the same positive answer. So when we look at our function here, our tan squared of x, and we take the square root to get rid of it, um, the square root with the tan, because remembering that that is just tan x squared is one third. So we're going to take the square root to cancel that out, to get the tan x on its own. Um, then we have to do the plus or the minus of the other side. So tan x is equal to plus or minus the square root of one third. Right, so here... We have plus or minus, and we know the square root of 1 is just 1, and the square root of 3 is the square root of 3. So again, we go to here, and we have our cast diagram. Okay, so we've got plus or minus, so this means for this we're going to find all four quadrants. But we still need to find our relative acute angle, and that's the inverse tan of 1 over the square root of 3. Okay, so whenever you see the square root of 3, you should be thinking 1, 2, square root of 3, this triangle. So tan is opposite over adjacent, so that means we're going to have 30 degrees, because it's opposite over adjacent. Okay, so that means for x, we are going to get 30 degrees. We're also going to get 180 minus 30 degrees. We're going to get 180 plus 30 degrees and we're going to have 360 take away 30 degrees. So we're going to get 30, 150, 210, and 330. Okay, so we're going to, for these um, functions where you've got the squared tan x just on its own, you are going to get four answers because it's going to be in every quadrant because it's plus or minus. Okay, so we're going to go on to the next type of quadratic equation that we can get, which is going to look a little bit more like the quadratic functions that we've been factorising an awful lot at National 5 and higher. Right, so the other type of equation we can get is, for example, 2 cos squared x plus 3 cos x minus 2, and we want to solve it between 0 and 360 degrees. Right, so for these ones, we're seeing, you maybe can't see kind of straight away, however, it's like we've got 2 cos x squared plus 3 cos x minus 2. Um, equals zero. I forgot the equals zero up, up above, right? But it, it does equal zero at this point. Okay, we can take this and we can rewrite it 
and pick a letter, any letter I'm going to pick C for cos and say C equals cos x and rewrite this function as 2C squared plus 3C minus 2 to help us to be able to factorise this because what we're doing here is we have to factorise it like a quadratic equation that we've done so far, so like a um, trinomial. So here we know we're going to put it into two brackets and over here with these it's easier to see with the 2c squared plus 3c minus 2 rather than trying to work with the trigonometric function to start with. So the 2c we know is going to have to be 2c and c and we know that we're going to have to have the 2 which is going to give us the minus 2 is going to have to be either plus 2 and minus 1 or minus 1 and minus 2 and plus 1. Excuse me there, just getting a little bit confused. Right, so, um, so we've got plus 3c, so that means that we're going to have to have plus 4 minus 1. So it's going to have to be plus 2 there, minus 1 here. Okay, if you're still worrying about um, things then how to factorise, let me know and I can do a video on a recap of National 5 factorising for you. Okay, so we're going to take that and put it back over here where we're replacing the C with the full cos x. So we're going to get 2 cos x minus 1 and we're going to get cos x plus 2 and that is equal to 0. So from this point, this is like solving quadratics that we've done at National 5. So when we've got two brackets equal to each other, either one or the other is going to be equal to zero. So we either get two cos x minus one equals zero, or we get cos x plus two is equal to zero. So we look at each bracket. So rearranging this, we're going to get two cos x equals one. So we're going to get cos x equals a half. So cast diagram, so it's going to be first and fourth quadrant with the half. We've got one, two, square root of three. So that's going to be 60 degrees because um, it's adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so this cal question could have been non-calculator. So that means we're going to get 60 degrees and we're going to get 360 take away 60 degrees. So from this, we get two answers, which are 60 and 300. OK, and our second one, when we rearrange, we're going to get cos x equals minus 2. Right, so at this point, we think again about our graphs. And I know I'm stressing this a lot, but we need to think about it. If we have our cos graph, our maximum is 1 and my minimum is minus 1. So therefore, we have no solution. And this is because um, cos of x needs to be between 1 and minus 1. So those are our solutions. So we get x is 60 and 300. Okay, so um, that is us for quadratic equations. The most important thing for the second type is to make sure that you factorise it correctly. Um, double check by multiplying out again um, if you need to. Let me know if you want any more examples as per usual. Um, like the video please if it's been helpful and um, let other people know um, about these as well. Hopefully grow my channel a wee bit. Okay, so thank you. Um, and next is going to be using radians.